I am struggling with emotional entanglement in my subs' problems. I want to be there for them, but they deal with depression and are often very sad. It is often unclear to me how or if I can help and at what times to become involved, stopping what I am doing to call them, for example. I feel they are doing all the right things to take care of themselves, but life is still bringing them down. I truly want to be available in a crisis, but I want most of my time to be my own. I don't like being too attached to my phone or having my mood significantly impacted by theirs. I sense emotional boundaries are the key, but I don't know how to practically avoid being affected in the way that I am. Is my desire to be present and not affected simply naive? As perhaps this is inevitable? I want to be caring, but not codependent. Okay, brilliant question, Lena. Thank you so much for sharing this question with us. You cannot control anyone's emotion. You are not responsible for anyone's emotion. Okay? The feeling that you have that you are responsible for someone's emotions or can control someone's emotions or emotional outcome, that is a codependent logic, codependency. Okay? So what we want is, like you said, I want to be caring but not codependent. So I'm going to help you tonight, if you're ready, to walk you through some of those emotional boundaries. Because yes, you're right. You can't control another's emotions. You can influence them. You cannot control them. That's something that you need to just like commit to memory. You're not responsible for changing anyone's emotions. You're not responsible for getting anyone out of depression. You're not responsible for easing anyone's anxiety. You can influence people, but you cannot control people. And their emotions are their responsibility. You are your responsibility. Now, that being said, I also want you to think of boundaries, not as a blocking off, but as a way to love. So here's the truth about boundaries. Boundaries do not keep good out. Boundaries keep good in. Boundaries keep good in and boundaries keep bad out. Okay. Boundaries, I'm going to phrase it this way boundaries are the limit in which I can love you and me simultaneously. We cannot give what we don't have. So if we have no energy, we can't give energy. If we're so drained, we have no creativity, we can't give creativity. If we feel bitter and resentful because we haven't set emotional boundaries, we're going to act out of bitterness and resentment. These boundaries are a limit that you love both of you. You're not being unloving. You're loving both of you at the same time because if you don't love you, you can't love anyone else. Once their mood drives your behaviors, you're in mesh. Now, again, their mood can influence your mood. But if your mood is influenced to the point where you no longer have control over your emotions and you change what you're doing, that's enmeshment. That isn't good. So let that be a red flag to you. That if their emotion, their mood starts shifting your behavior, we've gone too far already. Someone in your life said they thought it was your job as a dom to address it right away. No, that's a very toxic narrative put on dominance. It is a very toxic narrative to put on dominance, and it is a lie. What you need to do, Lena, in dominance is you need to train your submissive. To have emotional autonomy and self-soothing skills because you there are times where you will not be able to be there there are times where you're going to be sick and she's going to be spiraling in depression what are you going to do there are going to be times where you need rest and you need sleep and you're literally asleep and she's spiraling with anxiety in the middle of the night and you're asleep what is she going to do that narrative is so toxic. It is not the dominant's job to control the submissive's emotion. It is the submissive's job to control their own fucking emotion. The dominant can help influence behaviors. The dominant can train behaviors. The dominant can help influence emotion and energy. That is a codependent and toxic narrative in the lifestyle and out of the lifestyle. 